respond to an active shooter. New at six, for veterans who've left the military with anything but an honorable discharge, receiving VA medical benefits can be a challenge. But a program enacted last summer is allowing those OTH vets to come into VA centers to receive mental health care for up to 90 days. Team 12's Mike Gonzalez talked with VA officials today to see what resources are available in Phoenix. Hey, good evening, Kariba and Paul. There are literally thousands of former service members that have received those discharges that were other than honorable. And for this group of veterans, receiving mental health services is something that most don't even know they're eligible for. They've served in combat, experienced PTSD, and suffered serious trauma. Yet those service members who've been discharged other than honorably or OTH don't typically qualify for VA benefits. But former VA Secretary David Shulkin tried to fix that. He enacted a new program in the summer of 2017 that allowed 500,000 OTH vets across the U.S. to come into the VA to receive mental health care for at least 90 days. Wanda Wright, director of the Arizona Department of Veteran Services, says in the state of Arizona, there are resources available. They can go to Rally Point. They can call our Be Connected line. And uh, Mesa has a Veteran Resource Center. And those programs advocate for veterans and have navigators who can guide the veteran to the correct resources. Wright says another thing to remember that it isn't the vet who has to make contact with the resource center. And so we always ask if family members or people who know veterans who they feel like are struggling because, because of whatever um, um, issues they may be having, that line can be called by anybody. Another thing the Arizona Department of Veterans Affairs can help with is upgrading discharge status. So if they have a dishonorable discharge and they realize a lot of the things that they had that happened to them while they were in the military was because of PTS or TBI and they got, you know, kicked out with a dishonorable, they may have the opportunity to upgrade that uh, discharge. And so far, only 159 people in the U.S. have taken advantage of this program since it started last year in 2017. So the VA really wants to get the word out that mental health services are in fact available for vets with that OTH status. 20 veterans a day commit suicide and vets who've been dishonorably discharged or have that OTH status are much more likely to do that. Paul and Caribe. All right, Mike, thank you so much.